AMD just made a huge announcement. We all knew the new CPUs were right around the corner, but they are literally right around the corner. AMD just announced their 7000 series CPUs and they are launching September 27th. So the Ryzen 7000 series is running on the new and improved Zen 4 platform, and here's what you can expect to see. Starting at the bottom is the AMD Ryzen 7600X. It will have six cores and 12 threads. It'll boost up to 5.3 gigahertz, and it will have a launch price of only 299. Stepping up from there, we have the Ryzen 7700X. It'll have eight cores and 16 threads. It'll boost up to 5.4 gigahertz, and the launch price will be 399. From there, we have the 7900X. It'll have 12 cores and 24 threads. It'll boost up to 5.6 gigahertz and it will have a launch price of 549 and last but definitely not least we have the 7950x with 16 cores 32 threads a launch price of 699 but it will boost all the way up to 5.7 gigahertz now i don't know about you but i'm impressed that is a massive improvement over the current 5000 series platform a massive improvement the 5000 series platform is not officially rated to hit 5 gigahertz and now starting at the bottom of the stack with a 7600X, it will boost all the way up to 5.3 gigahertz. But what is equally impressive is that overall AMD is claiming an approximate 13% uplift in overall IPC compared to the Ryzen 5000 series platform. Now, AMD is claiming that the 7000 series CPUs are officially the fastest gaming CPUs on the planet. They compare the 7600X to Intel's 12900K in F1 2022, and the 7600X was 11% faster. Now, I don't know about you, but that's, that's pretty impressive, especially how the 7600X will have a launch price of only $299. But we all know that single core performance is the king of gaming and AMD doesn't want to stop there. They also want to focus on multi-core performance and so they're even claiming that the 7000 series family of CPUs will be the best CPUs on the market for content creators. Once again, they made a comparison to Intel's 12900K in an application called V-Ray. And overall, the 7000 series CPU saw 47% better performance per watt compared to Intel's 12900K. Now, it is important to always wait for official third-party benchmarks before getting too excited. I'll try to keep my wallet at bay for now, but, but I'm excited. Okay, so what else do you need to know? Well, AMD made a commitment to the AM4 platform and they said they would support it for many years to come and they did. But unfortunately, the AM4 platform has officially come to an end. If you want an AMD 7000 series CPU, you will need to invest in a new motherboard platform referred to as the AM5 platform. The good news is you will not need a new cooler. All AM4 coolers will work on the AM5 platform. So that'll save you some money and help with transferring your system over. So so I'm all about that. So good job, AMD. Additionally, AM5 brings with it Gen 5 technologies in the PCIe lanes, and that's great. But the good news is it will still be backwards compatible with PCIe Gen 4. AMD also confirmed that the new motherboards will launch along with the new CPUs. In September, you will be able to get an X670 motherboard. And in October, you'll be able to get a B650 motherboard. Apparently, the starting prices of these new motherboards will be $125. I fully expect that to be only on the B650 motherboards as the X670 motherboards will likely be over $200, but that's just my guess. Nothing officially has been confirmed yet. Unfortunately, DDR4 has come to an end. So now when you buy the new CPU and the new motherboard, you will also have to buy new memory with DDR5. Now, up to this point, DDR5 has been incredibly expensive. I'm hoping with the launch of these new CPUs and more manufacturers releasing DDR5 models, that the overall cost of DDR5 will come down. Even if that's true, this is the next generation of gaming here. So you're basically building a whole new PC at this point. So this upgrade will not be cheap. Speaking of DDR5, AMD also confirmed the brand new technology that they are calling AMD Expo technology. Essentially, it's supposed to be a one-click DDR5 overclocking methodology. So that definitely sounds like a much easier way of overclocking your memory and getting the full speeds right out of the box. So currently there are some other boards on the market that allow for easy overclocking on the AM4 platform but they are very few and far in between. And honestly, it's not a standard, but it sounds like this new AMD Expo technology 
will be the new standard for overclocking your DDR5 memory. AMD also confirmed that you can expect to see Gen 5 SSDs available in November. So if you upgrade in September, you'll have to wait a couple of months before you can upgrade your SSDs. AMD has made the commitment to support the AM5 platform for many years to come. Now, initially they only said up until 2025, but at the very end of the conference, I noticed a little plus symbol next to the 2025, indicating that they could support it going past 2025. And looking at AMD's track record, I personally believe that'll happen. Now, by the way, AMD is able to make all of these incredible upgrades by simply making the switch over to a five nanometer process. They're claiming that the Ryzen 7000 series CPUs is officially the first CPU family on a desktop that runs on a five nanometer process, but it doesn't stop there. AMD confirmed that by 2025, they will go into a four nanometer process. I can't believe they actually have a roadmap that far out and actually giving us a year attached to it. Now we had one little tease at the end, but they actually talked about their brand new GPUs as well. And they're simply calling it Navi 3 right now, or RDNA 3. They did confirm it will launch later this year, but we don't have a date. They showed off some gameplay from the newly announced game called Lies of P, but unfortunately they didn't show any metrics or frame rates or anything like that. But I think it's pretty cool that they're confirming that Navi 3 is coming later this year in 2022. Now what they did confirm about Navi 3, just like their CPUs, it will be switching over to a five nanometer product Process, and they're claiming it will have up to 50% more performance per watt than their current 6000 series GPUs. I don't know about you, but I'm incredibly impressed with everything that I'm seeing here. Are you upgrading to the Ryzen 7000 series CPUs? Are you impressed with this news or are you a little bit disappointed? Let me know in the comment section down below all of your thoughts about this. I look forward to talking to you. If you like the video, do me a favor, hit the like button because it goes a long way in helping me out. If you're new, consider becoming a subscriber. I would really appreciate it. And until next time, E-Rock out.